Hello everyone, Gilly Guide here. Yesterday, ShivyPod made an announcement on his stream. Actually, several announcements. Uh, talking about his future in context to Wave Race 64. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to play ShivyPod's stream from yesterday. Thank you, Shibby, for allowing me to use this content on my YouTube channel to inform others of what he's doing uh, and also videos like the 2016 year in review so special shout outs to him for uh, letting me use his content here's the video wanted to talk about the game and what my plans are I have played over the last couple of days just kind of for like 20 minutes during a an evening just to kill a little bit of time and see if I still have it. Definitely still have it. I haven't gotten a personal best. I, I really haven't sat down long enough to do so, but gotten some good stuff like a 115.6 on Glacier Coast, like on my very first try, which is ridiculousness, man. Um, here, we'll uh, keep cycling through music too. This music is like the HD versions of the music, by the way. So that's kind of cool. You get to hear a little bit of the music, a little more uncompressed. So I hope you guys like that too. Hey, what's up, Gilly Guide? I'll let you guys kind of filter in before I keep going. Before I get to the first topic officially here. Yeah, I've been playing a little bit. Got uh, got that sweet 115. I've gotten like 10 115s on Glacier Coast in the last two days. So I'm definitely on fire on the ice level. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's, uh, let's get started. Basically, I've got a few topics here on the top of the stream in that blue section that I'm going to be talking about. The first one is Return to Wave Race. So the guys in the Discord chat, I've been talking to them a lot over the last like few weeks, especially. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a return to uh, to Wave Race. I'm, I'm coming back, you guys. Now this was just a hiatus. The hiatus is over. I'll put a date on it, but uh, but you can consider the fact that I'm coming back, but I'm not back yet, let's say, because I'm looking at my calendar right now, after the 4th of July. So after the 4th of July, sometime, like probably give me a week or so. So the second week of July, that would be starting like on Monday the 10th. By then, I'll probably already be playing, but most of my gameplay is actually going to occur off stream now. I used to play quite often off stream, and then when I when I started like retiring, then I was pretty much only playing and streaming because I wasn't playing as much, and I just wanted to stream whenever I was playing. So now what I'm going to be doing is playing quite a bit more off stream. I'll probably only play as much as I used to play, but I'll play a little bit more off stream, a little bit less on stream. So, so uh, yeah, the, the return to wave race will be a little bit conditional. Like I'm not, uh, not gonna promise to stick with it forever, you know, obviously. I don't think anybody should promise to play something forever, but I'm going to kind of keep to a schedule a little bit. Now, I don't know what nights I'm going to be streaming, but I do know that I'm going to be streaming like three hours a week, one session a week. So it'll be a set time. I'll stick to it every week, just one stream a week. Um, I'm going to try really hard to stick to the schedule without canceling streams, and if I do have to cancel, that's okay. Um, I will probably 
also release some tutorials, and I would be streaming when I'm doing that, and that's probably outside of the, uh, outside of the realm of my scheduled stream. But I imagine what this will be is like a three hour stream one time a week, something like that. Um, and hopefully we're able to get a lot of the Wave Race community to go and watch these and just kind of hang out. I would like the community to have more of a community feel. And that's cool because recently the Discord has really been doing that for us. We have a lot of good conversation in the Discord. If you're watching this and if you want to join in, even if you're new to Wave Race, if you're not very good, as long as you want to play, or if you are playing, or if you were like me and you were playing and you hated it for a while, you know, <laughs> even under those circumstances, definitely come and join us. The link to the Discord is a permanent link that is located in the, uh, the link right here that I'm pointing at on the stream. Yeah. So, I'll have a, uh, a schedule here, but like I said, it's not determined yet. So the next topic that's on our list to talk about is summer contests. Uh, with the idea for the summer contests is just to, mainly it's, it's to get people to post their times, like play levels that you haven't played yet. And specifically I want people to play reverse. So play some reverse levels, post your times, post videos, it, that's really encouraged. Even if you're not getting a top five video, or a top five time, which a video is required for. If you're just playing and you're second to last place, or I mean even last place, post that video. You know, you don't have to be a top player to participate in this community. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a challenge. Even if you are already one of the top players, you know that this game is still challenging. You can still push it further. You can always push it further. Um so, yeah, summer contests. I've been kind of talking back and forth with Gilly about a couple of these. I just have a few ideas. Like, we we don't have to do any one of these. We can just do something completely different. But I was just thinking the other day, like, oh, man, we have so many new players. We could do, like, teams of two or three people, like an experienced player and, and a newer player, and just see, like, which team can make the most progress with their new players. We have some like simple points system where, oh, I don't know, like you get, it's like a month long and if you, I, I'm just kind of making stuff up on the spot right now, just kind of an idea. Like you get a point for, for getting a time that is like 105 on Sunny Beach and you get two points for 104 and you get three points for the, the benchmark, which is 103. So that, that kind of thing. and. I don't know, just an idea. Another idea that I was having was, like, we could do, like, the Wave Race Olympics. We've got a lot of good representation from different countries around the world. So, over a month or something like that, you just get the best times that you can on each stage. And we do, like, a little ceremony at the end. Like, the gold medal for Tantra Marine Fortress goes to Hayate. Just for an example, you know. So... There's a lot of things that we could do, and I wanted to get everybody involved. And again, this would make our Discord even more interesting. More people would be talking. We'd have more to talk about. And it would make players who've already gotten a PB on a level go and play it just to try to get a medal on it, you know? In a month, it's not like one player is going to have enough time to go through and sweep every medal, you know? So, okay, um... So a summer contest, we could start doing something like that, maybe in July, maybe in August. But yeah, just kind of an idea. Think about it. Uh, the next thing on the list here, we'll change music for this. So the next thing on our list 
is the Shibby List. And the Shibby List, uh, if you don't know what it is, it was the ranking system that I was doing uh, last year and the year before it, just to kind of name our top players, put a number on them. So um, I actually have the most recent Shibby List ready to pull up here. All right, it's now in this quadrant up here. So if you're looking up there, this is where our, our current Shibby List is posted. So it's Shibby Pod, Hayate, Illu Dude, Analogism, Lockwood, Admiral Smith, Gilly Guide, Jason Walls, Andy Panther, and Game. This was made before a couple of players who definitely earned spots on this list started playing with us. So obviously we've got Mo now, we've got Koi Rahoshi, and um, a couple of other players who are up and comers. So this list right now, it's still my most recent chibi list but it's not the official rankings anymore we're, we're gonna be using an official rankings list based on points that gilly guide has put in a lot of effort into so this list though is it's not completely obsolete because it's my judgment on who is the best skill wise at like the top of their game kind of thing it's so I do judge this based on a lot of the data, historical value to a, like what a player's accomplished, and just general at, generalities like that. But this list is made off of just like my experience, so it's not statistically based. I will go as far as to say I think I have the best understanding of the game and so from this from that that's kind of where i decided that i would be a good candidate to make this list and nobody had been doing it now since we have now since we have the official rankings list our official list will be on that but I've st i'm still going to do a couple more of these should be lists and I will release it as scheduled originally, which was July, and that's only a week away, so watch out for that. That's only a week away, and I'll do a stream for that too, just like I did in January, because that was fun. We had the whole community there, it was a good time, and it uh, kind of gets us all together, and you get to see m what my version of list would look like, and I'm not judging it on points, but I'm judging it on, like, skill my perception of skill so we'll see what that ends up being honestly i haven't even made it yet i've, I've got like a couple of ideas of what the list is going to look like it's going to look a lot different than this though than the way that it is right now so July 1st, we'll say. Because that's a Saturday. Yeah. So I've got that in there. That's July 1st now. So the official rankings, I'm going to pull the, I'm going to keep the Shibby rankings up here. This, I'm going to put it up in this quadrant here right about now. This is our current official list using Gilly Guide's calculations of what levels are worth, what world records are worth, like whether you hold the current record on a level, like that kind of thing. And he's given bonus points for things like getting a world record, um, untying a level, or getting like the first 103 before anybody else had gotten the, the 103 or something like that, you know, so so his list varies even just in the top three. We have Illu Dude as number two. He did play earlier than Hayate for the most part. Uh, and Jason Walls, he has it at number four, and I've got him at number eight. He has him at number four because he had like the first of so many things. He was 
he, he just got so many first times. He was playing so early in the game. Like, we're talking early 2000s. So, no one's contacted him from this community. But the official rankings, I'm not sure how they're going to be updated, like how often they're going to be updated. Um, but it's really cool. And it's going to end up being the standard in the big picture. So we'll, eventually we'll probably just phase out the Shibby list, but we're, we're going to, we, me, I'm, I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to do the one this, or next week. I guess it's this week, because today is Sunday, so... It'll come out on Saturday, about six days from now. But yeah, so that's the Wave Race update stream for the most part. I'll sit and chat and answer some questions if you guys want to chit-chat a few minutes before I do end this stream. I got some things I have to do for work, but yeah, kind of to recap everything, uh, number one, coming back to Wave Race, I'm going to say n next week, give me one or two weeks because I'm going to be out of town on the 4th of July. So probably when I come back from that, you'll, you'll be able to turn on a stream and it's going to be me playing Wave Race, okay? There's a couple things I'm going to do. I'm not going to let the game get on my nerves anymore. I'm going to play it for fun. Honestly, I've given 100% in this game, and I know my relative limit, so I'm just going to have fun and interact with the stream a little bit more. Oh, I am going to get an input viewer. I forgot to mention that. I've already ordered it from a uh, friend of the Wave Race community here, and a guy I've actually known for a while online. Um, uh, C-D-G-E-X-E, his name's Chad. And he's uh, sold me this input viewer. He's told me that he's going to help me uh, make sure it's all up and running here. And that'll be on stream too. And that's going to help me help the new players. Because I can't explain things all that well as far as inputs go. So having an input viewer, you guys can actually see what's happening with the controller. That's going to work. That's going to work great. So that's... Um, the scheduled streams, we're going to pick a day and a time that works best for me and for the people who already view my stream. So those we are going to start, like I was saying, in the uh, first or second week in July. Uh, the summer contests, we'll do some things to try to get everybody involved from the new players to the old school players. And... Uh, then, of course, the Shibby list, I'll put a date of July 1st on. That's my version of the top 10 list. I usually throw a couple of honorable mentions in there. And then the official rankings, which is now going to be the standard for the community, ranking the individuals officially as the first best, second best, third best, etc. down the line. So that wraps it up here. So as you can imagine, this has made me quite happy to have him at least coming back to some capacity. And I really hope that he ends up making more high-level tutorials so I can share with you guys a little bit higher level in my tutorial series than I can currently reach. Um, I do expect to be slowing down a little bit on Wave Race content as I am learning Perfect Dark, so I won't be having nearly the ridiculous amount of PBs I've been uploading lately so um, there will be still Mo coming up with some Wave Race videos and every once in a while I'll probably post some but for the immediate future I'm going to be focusing on Perfect Dark and starting a tutorial series for that game um, there's just a lot of video content lacking in terms of basic control options etc so that's kind of what my fu immediate future looks like uh, thank you all for staying tuned <laughs> and your interest in Wave Race. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of competition lately. So, thank you for watching and take care.